Are we ready for story time? Yeah. Let's awesome. Get started. Yes, I really had fun hanging out with you guys um, just now. Um, so, what did we read about last week? Do you remember? Um, yeah. What? What did we read about? We read about the. Uh, we read about. Um, we read. You read about them. The sun. Washing our hands. No, not washing our hands. Do you remember what this was? Yes, I know. What? A vine. What was A that? Bottle. Vine. Yes, vines. What are vines? Uh, they're like water. Mm, they need water, but they are not there's, water. There's stuff that hang on a tree. Yes, and, vines and, are plants. And, and, and what? And in Minecraft, you can climb oh. them. Oh yeah. So what do what do plants do? What do vines do? Hmm? What do plants um, do? What was our word last week? Plants. Do they shrink down, itty bitty, or do they grow uh, up? Really tall? They grow up. Yes, they grow. They start itty bitty, like seeds. And then we water them, and we give them food, and they grow. And then when they run out, and it's a bit tiny, when you give them anything, that means they'll grow. If you give them one thing, that means they will something grow. But if it grows into a plant, that means it grows, and then it'll go to a flower, and then that means you have a flower. Yes. Yes. It takes um, ages to it takes ages to grow a flower. Yeah, it takes a long time to grow a flower. It takes a long time for people to grow too, doesn't it? Well, we don't we're not growing a plant. Well no, but we grow but, don't we? But we but we we were um building a plant uh when I was a baby but they didn't they didn't know what what I was trying to say and I just like built Hey, grow a flower, and then you know what did I say? Right, right. So, so you used to be a little bitty baby, and no one could understand what you said. And now you are four, right? Yes, because and I know. Micah yep. is six. Micah, are you five or six? Uh, six. About to turn seven. Six, almost seven. All right. And I used to be that age too, but now I'm a grown up. Do you know how old I am? I don't uh, know. But, 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 Go far, go far. Then they, I said that to to the people, and then they know what what they say. Go far, go far. Yeah. So just like the flowers start out as little bitty seeds, and then they grow nice and tall and become trees with fruits on them, um, and all kinds of different plants. So do people grow? Just like Ryan used to be a little bitty baby that no one could understand, and now he's four, and Micah is seven, and I am. 32. So, and then my mommy is 50 something, and my grandma is 70 something. So, we just keep getting older and older and bigger and bigger, and we get stronger, and our brains get stronger. But, but, you, do you, uh, but you don't live with your grandma and mommy anymore? Nope. Nope. When you become a grown up, you, you start to live on your own. Yeah, but when I grew up, when I when I was one hundred, I had to do everything, and I didn't have to. I didn't need anybody's help. I didn't need any a grown-up's help or any grandpa's help or uncle's help or auntie's help. I just did all them by myself. Yeah, but, that's how I do it. But um, you're I'm not a hundred. What? I thought I thought you were four. Yeah, he's he's not talking about when he was. He's talking about one day when he's. 
All right, so we know that plants grow big and tall, just like people grow big and tall, just like our yeah, face. Just like my sister. Oh, yes, I like the pictures, Ryan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here is our story. Can you guys tell me what you see in the picture? Yes, I, I can see something. What do you see? I see Jesus. I see that people. I see uh, the grass, and I see every. I see everything. The people and the grass. What's happening? It's happening because it's pink, and it's it's gonna it's it's gonna, it's almost gonna be nighttime. Oh, maybe yeah, because the sky's kind of dark. Yeah. Do you know what it usually means when we see plants in rows like this? It's the sun and some cloud, but when it's, when it's foggy or it's night, some rain comes in the night, I think, and some thunder and lightning. Yeah, okay. Well, let's find out. Jesus is sitting here talking. He's telling everyone a story. So I'm going to tell a story about Jesus telling a story, okay? So it's a story within a story. Can we handle that? Uh -huh. I think we can. All yes. right. So many of the people who came to listen to Jesus were uneducated. Do you know what that word means? Uneducated? Yes, I know. What does that mean? I mean, I don't know. So do you know what education is? Uh, no. No. Education is what we get when we go to school. We learn and, stuff. And then we have to listen and not touch anything. If you touch the teacher stuff, that means you're uh, in trouble. Yeah. Or if you're, if you're, if you go to the office because you, you're in trouble. Yep. But everybody's here to help you when anybody, when anybody's in jail. Or when, if you, if you didn't got the right person, that means you didn't get it right. Right. So, are, so we don't touch other people's stuff because that's one way that we show respect for people. We treat people like and, they're important. We and always, yeah, we always have to sleep. If you don't listen to our, our teachers, then you can't go to sleep without anything. Or mm -hmm. All right, so let's get back to our story. All right, so educate means that we're learning something. So all these people, they were uneducated. That means they didn't go to school. So there were a lot of things that they didn't know yet because they hadn't been able to go to school yet. They worked on the land or were craftsmen. So that means they knew all about planning stuff. They knew all about the jobs that they did, um, but their education was limited to just those things, just those things that they did in their jobs to their, um, the farms that they were working on. Jesus tried to pass on his message in a way that they would understand. So he wasn't gonna use big words that no one knew, right? He was going to use words that they understood. If you're a farmer, what kinds of things do you know about? What? I know. What kind of stuff do, do farmers know about? They know about taking care and knowing about taking care of animals. But yes. they also need to take care of the animals. If they don't take care of the animals, then they won't know what they're saying right. Yes. And then um, they will help um, the animals. Um, yeah. Uh, they, they know how to plant. Exactly. So farmers can either take care of animals or they take care of plants. And some farmers take care of both. So he, Jesus is going to use words and stories that talk about animals and plants because that's what these people know about. So his stories, often called parables, help people think things through for themselves. To some, they would just be stories, but others would understand the real message. Are you guys, can you guys listen and figure out what the real message is? What the secret message is? I know. About what, you haven't I heard the story yet. You can't know what the secret message is if you haven't heard the story yet, silly. All right. So our story is going to be about plants, about farming, but there's a secret story hidden inside of that. So I want you to listen carefully and see if you can figure out what the secret message is. All right? Micah, are you ready to find that secret message? Uh-huh. All right. 
All right, so once Jesus told his followers a story about a farmer who sowed some seeds, does that mean that he got a, a sewing needle and some thread and he, and he sewed seeds into his clothes? No. No, do you guys know what that means? To sow some seeds? He planted seeds. He planted seeds. Yes, planted. He planted seeds in the ground. So the seeds fell in all different places. So I want you to take your imaginary seeds and throw them out. Throw them into the ground. Yes. Do they all go in the same place? If you throw stuff, does it all go in the same place or does it spread out? It spreads out. Yes, yeah, so let's find out the different places that all of these seeds went. So some fell on the path and were trampled. What does that mean, trampled? Some of them fell on the path, like on the sidewalk. And what do people do on the sidewalk? Walk. Yes, they walked on the sidewalk and they stepped all over those seeds and broke them down into little tiny pieces. Are those seeds going to grow up into plants? What do you think? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. No, they all got squished. Yes, really squished. Underneath their feet, they got squished. So they aren't going to grow up into be any plants. And some were eaten by birds. Can you grow a plant inside of a bird's tummy? What do you think? Do plants get what they need to grow? Do they get dirt and soil and sunlight and water inside of a bird's tummy? Ryan? Huh? Are those seeds going to grow inside the bird's tummy? Uh, yes. Well, let's see. Plants need dirt. Is there dirt inside a bird's tummy? Uh, no. They no. don't need dirt because they're, they, they don't get dirt because yeah. they, they don't have a stomach ache. Yeah. So birds don't eat dirt. And, so. and then they don't feel sick. Yeah. What about sunlight? Plants need sunlight to grow, right? Yes. If they don't have sunlight, then they won't grow, and then they'll cry and scream mm -hmm. and be so whine, whiny and yeah. sassy and so, so is there grumpy. Sunlight, is there sunlight inside a bird's tummy? No, because they have a stomach ache and they throw up. Um, yeah, so, so this, these seeds aren't going to grow. Right, the ones that landed on the sidewalk and gotten squished by people's feet, they're not gonna grow. And the ones that got eaten by birds, they aren't gonna grow either. Mm. What do you think the rest happens to the rest of the seeds? Some mm. fell on rocky ground where they withered because their roots couldn't reach the soil. Do you guys know what withered means? No. Mm. Let's see. I want you to pretend that you're a plant. I want you to reach. Reach. You're trying to get some more dirt. But what's in the way? Can you get that dirt? There's something in the way. Let's see. There's something. On rocky ground. There's rocks in the way. Yeah, there's rocks in the way. How are we going to get the dirt? Then we can't. We can't get there. The rocks are in the way. get there. If only if we can get the dirt, they're, yeah. not moving, they're not moving the rocks. They can't move it. They can't. Yeah, seeds aren't strong. They can't move rocks out of the way. Yeah, so they, they're even not people. Yeah, so those these seeds, they can't reach to get to the dirt, and the dirt is their food, right? What happens to people if we don't get food? Do we get... They, they, they will be hungry and starving mm -hmm. and their tummy will, will be angry at uh, them and then they will fight. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. so if a plant doesn't get its food, is it going to grow big and strong or is it just going to be oh, tired and hungry and falling over? Yeah, and then they will be mm -hmm. so sleepy and then go yep. into the... Mm -hmm. <laughs> So that's what the word withered means. It means they are just not going to grow. They, 
you know, they might get a little tiny bit of dirt, but not enough to grow strong. They are going to fall over and die. They are not going to grow. Oh, Lexi, we are really what, what do you think is going to happen to the rest of the seeds? I uh, then they will then they will get smash and smush, and then they will they, then you cannot put seeds in your in your flower in your flower, or they can and uh, and then they will spoil spoil your plant. Oh my goodness! Wow. All right, so we had some got squished under people's feet, some got eaten by birds, and some couldn't dig through the rocks. Let's find out what happened to the rest of the seeds. Some fell among weeds that choked them. Weeds are plants that have really strong roots and they just try and eat everything up so no other plants can, can live there. So the weeds choked them and only those few that fell on good soil grow into strong, healthy plants. Show me your muscles. What does strong look like? Can you be a strong plant? Yeah. yeah. I see Micah's muscles. All right, we gotta be a big, tall, strong plant. Yes. Aaron. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, wait, here's our farmer. What does he have in his in his shirt? What is that in there? Seeds. Yeah, he's got all those seeds. He's spreading them out. Mm -hmm. All right, so Jesus said that he, that Jesus, is like the farmer, and the seeds are like the message that he brought to God. The seeds that fell on the path were eaten by birds. Are like, are oh, like, I, love, I love the story. All right, so the seeds that fell on the path and were eaten by birds are like those people who hear the good news, but don't pay attention. Do you sometimes hear what your parents say, but you don't pay attention, so you don't remember it later? Yeah, yeah. but my sister doesn't pay attention. And I don't have to do the distance because I'm young. And, I'll get, oh, okay. and then she has to do the distance, and she will be grounded and so sassy. And then, then my dad. Brian! What? What? Stop it and pay attention. <laughs> so that's like... The seeds that got eaten by the birds and the ones that fell on the rocks. The, they were there, but they weren't paying attention. All right, so they didn't grow. They didn't get what they needed to grow. All right, and those who fell on the rocky ground are like people who believe for a little while, but when life gets difficult, they give up. They're not digging for that dirt. They got stopped by the rocks and they just gave up. Their faith doesn't have strong roots. The seeds that the seeds that fell among the weeds are like those who hear, but let themselves get distracted by and get choked and distracted by other things. All right. There's one more place that those seeds landed. Do you remember where they fell? Uh where? What do the seeds need to grow big and strong to become plants? Water. They need water, and what else? Sunlight. Yes, and one more thing. Uh, food? They eat? Yeah, what's their food? Air. Mm, not air. Mm -hmm. Remember mm -hmm. the ones who were trying to dig through the rocks to get to what? What were they trying to get Dirt. to? What? Dirt. Yes, dirt. So if they land in all this dirt and all this soil with the good nutrients in it, and they get water and they get the sunlight coming down on them, they have everything they need to grow big and strong to be awesome plants that grow broccoli and carrots and spinach and strawberries. And what are some other things that plants grow into be that are good for us? Uh, pineapple. Ooh, yeah, pineapple. Watermelon. Good. Mm-hmm. Uh, oranges? Yeah, all those things, yeah. So if the seeds get everything that they need, they grow to be awesome plants that provide shade and give us food. We even have plants that give us cotton, which is what we make our clothes out of. Did you know that? Your t-shirt came from a plant. Did you know that, Ryan? Um. I know that. 
your socks, they came from plants too. They came from cotton. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. What? And what's we'll that on it? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, Micah, I know you're paying attention. Did you figure out what the secret message is? Um. Jesus was telling his story about plants. Mm hmm. What is the secret message in there? Seeds. What about the seeds? That they're, that they're special. Mm hmm. What are the seeds really in Jesus' secret message? Love. Ooh, kind of love. There's a little bit more to it. Caring. What? Caring. Oh, there's a little bit more to it. So the uh, seeds are Jesus' message. Jesus mm -hmm. loves the story about how Jesus loves us and takes care of us and died on the cross. The whole Bible is Jesus' message. So if we listen to it, if we listen to the Bible, but we ignore it, does that help us? Yeah. If we listen to the Bible and we say, oh, I don't like that, is that going to help us? No. Probably not. No. What about if we listen to it and we think about it and we apply it to our lives and we get to know Jesus better? Is that going to help us? Yes. Yes. Just like the plants who got planted in the good soil. They didn't get stepped on or squished. They didn't get eaten by birds. They got everything they needed so that they can grow big and strong and become food and clothes and everything that we need them to be. So some people think that the Bible is just telling us all the rules that we have to follow. But plants do a lot more than just follow the rules, right? They have a purpose. They give us clothes and they give us food. And if it's really hot outside, we can stand under the trees for some shade, right? It's been getting hot lately. Have you guys been hanging out under trees? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So you don't get sunburned? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so plants do lots of great things. So if we listen to Jesus and love to them, <laughs> it's almost Ryan's nap time, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So if we listen and we put Jesus' message in our hearts and in our minds, then we can grow into the people that Jesus wants us to be. So some people think Jesus is just for right now, just so we do good things. And some people think that Jesus is, is just for when we die, so we go to heaven. But you know what? what? It's for forever, for now and after we die. So we can grow big and strong like these trees over here now in our life now and after we die. How cool is that? Uh, good. I think it's pretty cool, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do you know what color that is? Uh, blue. Mm, the sky's blue. Remember how we're doing all the colors of the Bible? Rainbow. Yeah. Like yeah. you. On TV, you told the uh, blue, white. So, what was our first color? Uh, what did you say? Yellow. 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 Yes. Hello. The, the way God wanted it in the beginning, perfectly. God made everything, and it was very, very good. And our color is yellow. And then, what did we do? Blue. Not blue. Not yet. Uh, white. No, before that. Red. Red. No. Black. Uh, we mess everything up. Remember what we did? Mm -hmm. What did people do? They sinned. They did. They sinned. We got our hearts all dirty. So what did Jesus do to fix our sin? He 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 got the he got the the virus and then he got it. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> he died. He didn't get the virus, but he died. Because some people were very mad at him. They didn't but like he, what Jesus was saying. But he got the sin. Yeah. So he died because people didn't like what he was saying. But he didn't stay dead. Did he? What did Jesus do? 
Uh, he got the sun. Okay, so Jesus came back to life. Remember, he shed his red blood and came back to life. And what, what color are our hearts now after Jesus cleans them? White. Yes, uh -huh. white. Nice and clean. Sparkly. Nice clean. and clean. And not dirty because I will hide some. Mm -hmm. And then what do we do after we have clean hearts? It's uh, red. No, red was Jesus' blood that cleans our hearts. We sin again? No. Oh, we do again. Hmm, let me see. What color is it? Oh, this? green. No, what blue. color is this? Blue. blue. Yeah, it's kind of blue. Blue, blue and then green. Yes, what does blue mean? Uh, water. Water. Mm -hmm. And wine. Uh -huh. What do we do in the water? Do we take a bath? Mm. Yes, and then there's blue on my pew. Drink it. Oh, we do drink it, but that's not part of our story. Blue was when Jesus got... Sunk into the ocean? He got baptized. Remember, Jesus got baptized. That's our way of showing other people that Jesus washed our hearts. So we get baptized, not because it's... You know, it's not actually cleaning us, right? We don't get baptized with soap, do we? We're not taking a bath. It's just a way to show other people what Jesus did in our hearts. So blue is for telling people what Jesus did for us. And, then, and we got blue. And I got blue. And then last week was what color? Green. 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 Why is our color green? Because we need green, if, if, if you don't know green, then I don't know what that's it. So, what do plants do? Uh, uh, they, um, they give air. They you grow. Do. They grow, yes. So green is for growing. As we get to know Jesus better, we grow. Our hearts grow, just like our bodies grow, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So after all of that, we come back to our last color. Do you know what our last color is? I'm going to show you a little hint. Oh, did you see that? What's our last color? Yellow. Yellow. Wait a minute. What? No, we did yellow. We did. Yellow was the color for when God made everything perfect. Uh-huh. And it was exactly the way that God wanted it to be. Hey, okay, Ryan, can you put that down? I see it. Thank you. So we're back at yellow because now that we know Jesus and he's cleaned our hearts, we can be the way that Jesus wants us all over again. We're back the way that we were supposed to be in the beginning. He fixed us. Mm -hmm. like if, you, if you break something, and you can fix it, and it works again. It's all better, right? Yeah, but if anybody breaks it, that means your somebody can help you. Yeah. So if we have to, if we get sick and we go to the doctor, or if, if and we get all better, healthy, or if anything, if, if you got hurt, you gotta go to the hospital. Right. Or if you're not on your head. Yeah, anything. but then you get better, right? Yeah. You can get yeah. better by anything that's good. Yeah, so yellow means that we got all better. We are back the way that Jesus wanted us all the way from the beginning. And so, then you had it, you got stuck. You get stuck. So, mm -hmm. you, you so just stuck. like just like Jesus plants the seeds, just like the farmer plants the seeds, he puts his message in our hearts and so we can grow big and strong and to know Jesus just the way that he wants us to, so we can be best friends again. Yeah, so that's what yellow means. We're back the way that we're supposed to be. We're back with Jesus. We're like best buds. Uh -huh. Mommy, yeah. mommy, you have yellow. That means there's, we're talking about him. Yeah. So next week, I have a big project that we're going to do. So we need to get all of our friends to come next week, okay? Because we're going to put all of the colors together. And we're gonna do a scavenger hunt, and we're gonna we're gonna do all the colors next week, okay?
Yeah. Um, yeah. Every time, every day, I forgot to do everyone. Okay. I'm really excited about next week because we are going to do some fun stuff next week with all of the colors. And my tube is on my own. And I can, I can not color every single picture just today. Oh, yeah. Well, you got to do them all today then, okay? No. I cannot do Okay, we'll do some a. one a day because we are we have a big project next week for all of our yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, um, but but maybe one day I'll miss one. Okay. I make sure see. they're all done by next Sunday, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, maybe. I am really excited about next Sunday. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Yeah, next Sunday is awesome. Yes, it's going to be so good with all of our colors. Okay. Um, what should we pray for today, guys? Uh, we should pray family. for Jesus and pray for God and pray for the colors that we did. Yeah, sounds good. What about you, Micah? Family and, and to mm -hmm. have a good Mother's Day. Yeah, and we can thank God for our moms too, can't we? Yeah, and then say happy Mother's Day to your mom and give them a card. All right, sounds good. All right, are you guys ready to pray? Yeah, and say good, mo good morning, happy Mother's Day, mommy. All right, all right. So what do we do when it's time to pray? Close our, close our, hands, our eyes, eyes, close our eyes, bow your head. Yes, we close our hands and we close our eyes so we don't get distracted by anything else. All right, dear God. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you so much for our moms taking care of us. Thank you so much for our moms taking care of us. Thank you so much for mom taking care of us. Thank you for giving us moms who love us. Thank you so much for giving us moms who love us. Thank you for moms taking care of us. And thank you so much for cleaning our hearts. And thank you so much for cleaning our hearts. And letting us have a relationship with you. And letting us have a relationship with you. Amen. 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 Guys, what color is your picture going to be this week? It's, mine's just going to be green. Yellow. Yellow Ow. is our color well, this week. It's all the colors. So we're talking about how we're back the way God wants us to be, how we know Jesus, we have a heart, and we're growing in our faith with him, and we get to hang out with him all the time. So I want you to think about what that looks like, Mike, yeah, please stop. What does that look like? And we're going to color it all in yellow, all right? Because next week, we have a big project to do with all of our colors. Yeah, and I'm going to do yellow like the sun. Yes, good. Oh, uh oh, I think Mike is getting sick over there. <laughs> Whenever I open my mouth and then and like spits coming out, it starts like uh spreading out. Mm, yeah, okay. Well, maybe let's not do that. Okay. I'm All right. To get it back in. Okay, yeah, let's keep let's keep the spit in our mouth. It's a good plan. Okay. So I will see you guys next week with your pictures and we're going to do all of our colors so you call your friends and remind them to come on story time next week josiah and grace and ephraim and, and caleb and caleb and anna and everyone okay yeah and a whole people yes everyone it's gonna be awesome bye yeah, that's gonna be really awesome very awesome. Thank you, Ryan, for singing that. I'll make sure you get a chance to sing next week, too. How's that? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'll see you guys next Bye. week. Bye. Bye. Bye.